as more and no more diced in the cool the car. Alistorn is kind of good against Amulet Titan, which is interesting, but I do think that this is a much better Arch Druid's Charm deck, which also has me uh, pretty interested about this deck today. Um, we have got a... And the, the, the other thing is, this deck just wins on turn three. Can win on turn two, but wins on turn three so consistently. So consistently. Get Andrew for the 28. Okay, we're getting Gemstone Cavern tier. Is it scales? Is it... Is it rhinos? Is it something fun? Exile's Mistress Bobble. Potentially something fun. Definitely thought the title was describing Karn. <laughs> I mean, you mean the go live notification? Because the, 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 the title is Archer's Charm Time with Samuel. You play Turn 1 Urza Saga. I play Turn 1 Urza Saga. They are on cool deck. So, I think I need to play this map this turn. This way, next turn, I can grab uh, Gruel Turf off the, the map, get second amulet. Four mana, explore, up to six mana into Escape to the Wilds, into Escape to the Wilds, like bare minimum, could cast everything. Or so, yeah, in this deck we have enough green cards to support Force of Vigor over Pick Your Poison. I, I'm not sure that it's right to play Force of Vigor over Pick Your Poison. I think it's kind of close. Where I really like against Murktide, Pick Your Poison is just kind of like always good. It, it, like it's it's an answer to Blood Moon that's kind of always good, but Force of Vigor is better against uh, the Titan Mirrors. And I think like you really just don't want to be the person without Force of Vigor in in those matchups. Okay, Grolter should be a, like a very easy one here. There's Archdruid's Charm, so again, we can use it as ramp, we can use it as uh, payoff here. Let's just go ahead and cast uh, Escape to the Wilds first. Here we find a Lotus Field, a Grazer, and three Ancient Stirrings, which is pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and play this Lotus Field here. I think I will actually... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and... Archdruid's Charm for Garden. Grab a third amulet. Cast the Stirrings, find a Immercool. We win the game. Maybe a little short on mana right now, but with, you know, two more stirrings and escapes of the wilds, we definitely should have it, although we might have it now. So we have, we cast the grazer, we go down to seven plus six, so they had not quite enough, as we should have uh, cast these stirrings first, but there's a timeless lotus. So let's just quickly... Cast in Immercool, and then make my opponent sacrifice all six of their permanents, and quickly go to game. Could do more stuff, but turn three hardcast Immercool is probably going to be the one here. Any idea what I'm playing the challenge this week? I'm going to be in Chicago mm -hmm. this week, and I'm going to be playing a 75k standard tournament where top eight make the next pro tour yeah my opponent cast the ring on turn two that game <laughs> as they note in the chat okay i'm gonna bring in four force of vigor i'm gonna cut three explore okay. we'll cut some stirrings over the uh now Stirrings is just so important. Like, you just have to have a hand that has, like, a density of, like, stirrings, gardens, uh, amulet, saga. What's what's so nice about this deck is you get to play four stirrings, you get to play four gardens, you don't really have any, like, air lands in your deck, you don't have to play haste lands, you don't have to play, um, <laughs> the, you know, mirror pool, these kind of cards, although mirror pool may be sick. I was kind of thinking about playing it here. But you you, you just get to be, like, a little bit leaner and meaner. On the mobile six, 
Thanks so for standard. Uh, I've played zero games. I've been talking a lot with friends who have been playing standard, and I'm going to be taking their advice on what I'm going to be playing this weekend. I am definitely excited to play a paper tournament anytime. Uh, I, I, but I don't know how the gameplay is going to be. I've played zero games. So, do you feel like my opponent has counter spell up here like Metallic Rebuke? Metallic Rebuke would counter anything. So I think I will just... not play around it here, and I'll just start off and cast a Timeless Lotus. Yeah, people say they like standard a lot. I'm I'm like optimistic, but I just you know, haven't played any. Let's see if we get a haywire haywire minded here. They don't have any green men at the moment. Notably they don't have metallic rebuke up here, because they won't be able to like tap this for blue and tap two other artifacts. I think what I'll end up doing here is using this first Archdruid's Charm to get a Lotus plus three mana. Assuming, assuming that this resolves, I guess. And then got eight mana here. I think I'm gonna just lead on Escape to the Wilds next. Kind of thinking about Archdruid's Charm first. I think it should be okay. We have Force of Negation, pitching moves snare prototype. Punish for not playing the Golos, and then I guess I'm just you know I had to sacrifice my land, so I'm not gonna have. I would need to draw like Explore, Boreal Grazer, Lotus to have a chance to combo next turn, but also my opponent, you know, they attack me for four, I'm at 20 life, they have two cards in their hand. Likely gonna be okay. Yeah, I, I saw, I, I heard that there, there's the Elden Ring trailer, I'm gonna have to... Out. They have two cards in their hand, so we could go again for like Archer's Charm into Lotus and to escape to the wilds. Um, I think I'm gonna go for lead on Golos here. If they have a third counter spell, So I have the option to play around Metallic Rebuke. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go sack, sack my lands here. And I'm gonna escape to the wilds with the ability to besage you the construct should my opponent um, counter this. They have a third counter, besage you construct. Besage you construct's a little awkward because I don't have uh, <laughs> a huge plan to rebuild here, but my opponent just basically has nothing either. I think with a Golos in play and two Amulets in play, we're probably in okay shape. But then they play the ring, so what do I know? I guess um, I can't I can't Celestia Sanctuary to exile the ring by itself. Okay, maybe we'll lose this game. Is in some respect just better than Charm. Thank you. <laughs> some respect doesn't find Golos, doesn't find Emrakul. Actually, only finds Grazer and uh, Colossus in this deck. Oh, getting damping sphered. Um, this also puts lands into play, which is super important.
I guess I should have been attacking. Not too often, like, go low speed downs get in. They won't be able to rebuke my Force of Vigor here. Although I think I think we're just gonna get super buried by the ring. Um, I don't know if like showing them Force of Vigor really does does a lot, but I have a hard time feeling like we have a very high chance of winning. I'll we'll, we'll play it out, I guess. The attack is a ring. The turn before. Okay, I see. I wonder if I could put around counter. I, I probably could have put around the third counter spell better. I think it was a kind of okay to just jam. I think Rona in their deck. And Emery. This is like bigger blue cauldron. Let's go to game. Let's go to game two, or game three. Okay, on the play, game three. I don't think of anything else could stream. Probably, probably this is fine. Yeah, Force cannot uh, get rid of the ring. Play. If I could turn to Charm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Mulligan this. But if I could have turned to Charm, maybe that hand was, uh, Reasonable keep. Oh, so the mold of six. And needs a payoff. Nice that we have a force of uh force of vigor. What is defense good for? Uh well I mean I, do I, it's hard to over sideboard. I see they have a ton of counter spells. It's hard to over sideboard in this deck though. Like I it's I don't think we can can we bring in both force of vigor and defense grid? I I basically never bring in more than like four sideboard cards, but maybe I should have some grids. Pitch of Gemstone Caverns. I feel like I just mostly want to be in on these, but, may but maybe, maybe right, maybe we should obviously have them. Also, Defense Grid isn't as good against Force of Negation. We do not draw a green card for force, but oh, sorry, I, I, I did draw a green card for force. What I'm saying, uh, so if I force the saga and the token upkeep, I stop them from getting like needle for Golos. I stop them from having four mana for a uh, ring this turn. Vulnerable to a defense grid. Kind of vulnerable to counter spell, but a counter spell would at least mean they're not getting a second construct. They loot in response. They discard Odawara, which they could use to channel and bounce Saga, but they just hard cast a force of negation. Grab a needle, which names Besage you. Then they play their last card as an Emery with no artifacts in the yard at the moment, but they get to untap their Rona. They attack with Rona instead of just trying to mill one. I guess it's okay. They mill a spell skite also. I draw Archdruid's Charm. The moment isn't castable. We play Lotus Field. Close to castable. <laughs> Here. I'm going to play the Gardens. If this had been a green source, or like a forest or beside you. They also have Minamo to untap this. They get to rebuild pretty tough. Start a Moonstare prototype. A Force of Negation on the Amulet is so clutch. They target the prototype over Spellskite, or... Oh, sorry, they target Spellskite. Amulet would be an absurd draw here that, like... Is, like, pretty close to winning on the spot. They have one card left in their hand. It's Odawar, which they play, which is almost definitely incorrect, right? Why would you play that?
They have five power. I'm at 14. I do a force of vigor. They play their island again. You have, you have Rona in play. What am I missing? You got to keep island in your hand with Rona in play. Even up on top the the on top the Rona. Hit me for five down to nine. Taking this turn off to force a bigger construct spell skite seems okay. Although they do just get to replay the spell skite. Our cast time will slow to seems pretty reasonable. I could also. Yeah, let's just let's just hard cast the timeless lotus and then pitching force to like gain ton of life seems pretty nice. I just buy so much time. Next turn I can tutor up Golos and cast Golos, which is pretty slow, but seems it seems okay. I'm kind of worried about them finding damping sphere. Urza. I'm gonna flip the Rona. Is this is this an artifact? No. So they're targeting the Ornithopter so that they can spin Urza instead of Rona. Okay, they are flipping Rona. So now we have to force. Five? Not looking so good. We draw Golos. We are unable to spin this turn. Golos stack fight Urza that leaves me dead on board. We can fight the Rona. <laughs> well, doesn't win the fight. So close. Yeah, we can, we can get Saga, we can get Gardens, but we can't uh, actually do enough. Fight Construct Block Runner. I mean, we're chump the thing is we're just chump blocking and then we, like, live to buy a turn and then we, lo we lose this game. Oh, but this guy, we get a counter on the Golos. We get a counter on the Golos from this. The Block Rona, counter, four damage here. Okay, I guess that has to be the line. And then, pretty sure we're getting Saga. And we're just going to do this now, because like they're going to be able to just cast Spellscape pre-combat, so we don't let them tap this for mana. And this is, whenever you deal damage to Rona, its controller exiles a card from their hand at random. If it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield under your control. Otherwise, cast it without paying mana. We have no cards in our hands, so that is... Moment of blank line of tech. Get a spin Golos next turn. Need them to you know not find anything good off uh, Urza or their draw step. <laughs> Several looks. So they do have like a lot of counter spells. Maybe they'll hit one of those. There's always a way out with Archdruid Arm, huh? They're gonna cast the spell skate or my. Do you think they have enough to spin Urza again? There are one short. Any you face your decks in the queue? Yeah, I have like three. Keep watching. False Guide comes back. We're even like just not dead next turn too, which is kind of cr kind of crazy. Oh, we are dead because they get to tap with the Emery this turn. I, I, I bet we could also make a Construct to live, so... Or if we just find anything off a Golo spin. Are they actually playing Cauldron? I'd be very surprised if they had no Cauldrons in their Imri, Urza, Spellskite, Rona deck. But, you know, maybe they've cut some post-board in this matchup. We find Escape to the Wilds, which is pretty interesting. I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. Escape to the Wilds is a lot worse without an amulet. Let me just spin Golos. I find an amulet, and I find an archdruid's charm, and I find a lotus field. This is probably going to be enough. So I'm going to go archdruid's charm for garden. Wait, why do I have three mana floating here? 
Oh, sorry, this is cast without paying the cost. <laughs> Duh. I just paid mana for it. Fine. I'm going to make red, and then why don't I go ahead and make blue, which is the hardest color. I don't have any blue lands in the, in the deck. Just for Golos, just leave one blue floating, green, and a red. We find Amulet of Vigor, Grazer, Force of Vigor, Stirring. Let's start with the Stirrings. And find not a lot. Or a Golos or Timeless Lotus there, I guess. Now we go. Oh, we can't. We can't put this Girl Turf into play. But I still, I still have my extra land drop off the. Off the uh the escape, I guess. Oh, I fucked up. Because what I could have done here is I could have gone land drop from Gruel Turf, pick up Lotus Field, Grazer, Lotus Field into play, activate Golos. Oops. Um probably pick the Lotus Field up. Of embarrassing. Oh, I'm out of, out of land drops. Oh, although now I, I guess I just block. Oh, this is trample though. I guess I'm gonna lose my. I'm gonna lose my land drop here. Is my miracles just upload a Moxfield. I can't seem to find it. My dumb. Well. I, I can, I'm going to type exclamation point deck. Click the Moxfield link. Click the Spiring Spike. Roll down. Miracles. And they spin into they spin into Damping Sphere. They still spin Golos and like hit Force of Vigor although, or Archroot's Charm to get rid of it. You can also make a Construct turn. They had a ring and damping spear. Well, they've been bricking for a while, I guess. They also have Manamo to go with their ring. Why do you call it spinning Urza? You're getting like a random effect. I don't like spinning a let wheel. Okay, I have to block with Golos, and then I lose my Lotus. <laughs> which they get to put into play. Oh, Garden's Return. So, I can't Besage you, because there's, there's Needle on Besage you, so I can't go, like, map for Besage you. Let me just start off... I'm going to float a green? Oh. Oh, because this only taps for one Colos. I see. Kind of break off this Golos. Definitely punted this game. Unfortunately... I'm still not dead on board. So if I grab Gruel Turf, this lets me activate Urza Saga and cast the other stirrings. The Timeless Lotus lets me go really crazy next turn. Magus, thanks for the raid. Hope you're doing well. How often do I get another turn? My opponent's going to get to draw five cards off their ring. Also cast Golos. Not with the Damping Sphere in play, right? Yeah, I, I know I know Girl Turf makes Colos, but th this costs this costs zero. Oh I can cast I can't cast this Golos. These cost zero. Yeah, I'm dumb. Get Lotus and Land with Ghost. There's a Damping Sphere in play. It would, this would be a very easy turn, I agree. 
where the stamping sphere not in play. I'm bouncing uh Versa Saga. So two mana, or one mana cast the Skolos. Legend rule. Only three off ring, they tapped it for mana. Oh, they tapped ring off for mana? What the fuck? <laughs> Silly. I'm um, gonna get forest? Yeah, could get another Urza Saga. Let's get another Urza Saga. Gotta make sure we stack the triggers right, though. Because if you stack the triggers where the Saga gains mana after... The untap, then you don't get to do anything else. We cast this for two, three mana floating. Grab an Immercool. That. Pass. Oh no. Oh no. Well, my opponent has a one in three chance of having a lot of fun next turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think you probably still grab it, but <laughs> my opponent has found Uriah, which is quite the card to find here. I cannot trump with Grazer. Run has trample as a five five, so I go to go to zero. Oh, oh, they played Lotus Field. With the damping sphere in play, they had to do it too. So this actually like was minus two mana from them. I just noticed that. <laughs> I'm not even sure that they can flip this. They 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 haven't cast any spells yet. It's very hard to flip Uriah with damping sphere. Cosmic is seven seven at the moment. One two three four five six. I think they're also just noticing the whole Lotus Field problem. One thing that would be so funny is if they tapped out pre-combat and then they hit Emrakul off Rona and then they couldn't cast it because of the Damping Sphere. That would be potentially the funniest thing to ever happen in the game of Modern. Although, damn it, they're not doing that. Fuck here. One in three chance of casting Emrakul. I won't even be mad. I won't even be mad. Oh no, I'm just hunting into Moonsnare prototype. But I, ha I have to block with only one thing, otherwise they have a 2 and 3 chance of finding Emrakul. Or, what you're missing. <laughs> Beautiful hand, keep on the draw. Draw against Rectus. Can be... oh, maybe not Rectus. You see Voidwalker, Blood Moon deck can be kind of scary. GG's Wordle. We got Stirrings next turn off the gardens. Hopefully, find a bounce land. This Urza Saga. And put it into play. Find a Grazer that we'll probably try to save for next turn. Save for next turn. Um, we find a Lotus Field. Which I, I, I'm. There's also a Golos. I'm gonna take the Golos. It's kind of weird, but. It's like. It's just, just kind of simply put, I guess. It's just like way easier to find a Bounce Land or Lotus off Stirrings. And we just. At the moment, don't exactly have a payoff. We have, we have a ton of these Bounce Lands in the deck. We have Explore. We have Stirrings to like dig for these. And having this as a payoff when we probably have at least two more turns is probably all here. Card on top. Paul Carver, 11 months. They go back. They discard a lightning bolt, which I think is interesting. They flip a cookbook over. Grab an Asthma. If they can get Delirium and have another bolt. We're dead next turn if we don't uh, 
find a bounce land to combo off with. Super duper terministic here. Like Razor or Explore the Garden's End for fun, or probably kind of correct, right? So we go Explore. Gardens pays for itself. Oh right, uh, it's still fine, but I forgot that it's better to it's better to grazer the gardens into play than it is to explore it into play, as the grazer makes it inner tapped, and so we have to pay an extra mana there. But the extra amulet goes a long way with uh, triple timeless lotus in hand. Or double ti double timeless lotus. Triple, triple amulet trigger. I'm gonna cast uh, Stirrings first because like, if I just find Emrakul, game ends pretty quick. They also aren't able to. Asmo, my Golos, so don't need to worry about that. Don't really need to worry about anything. And basically cast our entire deck. As an explorer. Richard's Charm. We just grab Emrakul. And then, of course, we have 15 mana. Average turn three. Yeah, I mean, this this deck does this turn three so consistently. I, I'd say 70% like of your games you went on turn three. It was kind of conservative. Or you, you, you more I guess more specifically you cast Emrakul turn three. This card Galvanic Blast here, and then they can see. <laughs> or they discard they discard Galvanic Blast or Exile. I don't know. Um, they probably have a light green splash for like Haywire Might, which Welding Jar doesn't really help with very much. This may be just a run it back kind of matchup. Like I don't really feel like I'm dying for Dismember against their like relatively slow clock. I don't really care about Asmo so much. Yeah, I guess you don't actually win the game on turn three. But you cast Emrakul on turn three, which is almost always good enough. Emulgan. Wow. I have never put back an amulet. <laughs> I'm not certain. To. You draw payoff. The four amulets in play by turn two. Or by, by turn three. Also, just make a saga token next turn, maybe. I guess that's a little bit less value with them having NP. Well, the token will be pretty big once I have all these amulets. They exile a Haywire Might, which they hand cast. They F6. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna make a saga token here. Got infinite mana. We need to draw Archdruid Charm, Golos, Escape to the Wilds, uh we cast Emrakul, Ancient Stirrings, or Cultivator Colossus. They just didn't cast the Haywire Might, it's so weird. I forget about their Ragavan treasure. So 
They reveal a Pithing Needle here. Off Golos, maybe? Fragment Stealing Explore for me. They Needle Golos, we can like Golos for Beseju and like pick up the Beseju, would be pretty slow. Did you have Grill Turf Float, Grazer Return, Floating, Turf again, Hamlet and Saga Token? Um, oh, we could have, yeah. They do name Golos, Tireless Pilgrim. Two cards in their hand. Cast Asmo. We get this up to seven, seven, three, four, just right now. No payoff to be found. Nothing to map for either. That's the one de big downside of this uh, build. I'm pretty sure I like. Should I should I play the grazer? I think I don't want to play Grazer because I want to be able to go. I mean, if I draw Golos, I want to be able to go Bounce Land, eight mana, Timeless Lotus, like twenty mana. Then Golos for Besaidu, then Grazer, Bounce Land to play the pick up to Besaidu to Besaidu the the Needle. So we Golos is alive out or Ancient Stirrings into Golos. Archer's Charm, Culture to Colossus, Deep to the Wilds, Golos. Although Go Golos maybe not anymore because they have if they have Asthma activation available. Tinka, Haywire might. Yeah, they 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 have Needle on Golos here. Crime Novelist deck on channel yet? Uh, a Crime Novelist backup deck today. Um, I'm 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 really want to try to get to it today because. Tomorrow I'm leaving for Chicago. If we want to try to knock it out if possible. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to do a stream tomorrow also, but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. We leave. I, I, I think I can do a short stream tomorrow. I can, I can do like one league, like no more than like three hours. They have Galvanic Blast, but it's interesting. They didn't like, oh no, you steal the best. I, I guess Archdruid's Charmer and Emrakul are better draws, but notably they have no food, no no card in their hand to make a second food to activate Asmo. So Golos or Stirring into Golos is live, and then all the other outs you listed before. Yeah, the Ragavan had Trample. They definitely should have blasted the token. They would just have a had a five four Ragavan in play, and I would I would be at the same life total. Doesn't matter. No payoff strong this game. Good game three. Ragavan stole my top deck to win. Seems like still no changes to the sideboard though. Just want to be as consistently comboing as possible. Holding jar doesn't protect against Haywire Might. Keeping this. Going back to the map. Am I playing in Chicago? I'm, I'm not going to say what I'm playing in Chicago because. I've like copied my homework. <laughs> uh, I, I did I did zero games played. I just like asked a lot of friends who have played a lot of standard what they would play, and um, I don't want to necessarily give away the deck or anything. But it's nothing nothing too crazy either. When is in the tank on their seven? Format. Oh, the format is standard. It, there's a there's a standard. It's like a GP or like what GPs used to be, where top eight make the pro tour big seventy five thousand dollar standard tournament. You get modern mono white smarter's position in modern. Uh, I you don't have force of vigor in your hand, brother. Not in there. There's no shot. Um, mono white has like a ton of like really really polarized matchups. Uh, the deck is fine. But you have to be you have to be comfortable having very polarized matchups. GPs are back. Um, there are like occasionally GP like events at Magic Cons. Magic Cons are like the new GPs, but there's only like three of them a year. 
And it's also I one thing I really don't like about the new magic schedule is there's like three magic cons by summer usually like and then in winter there's one or like like the the last 6 months of the year there's only one. The needle my garden. Magicon SPT. There's a lot of things that happen at Magicons. They name Golos. We really need to go off this turn. Which this. I'm not sure if it lets us do exactly. We can't activate Golos anymore, so we go 6 mana, 10, 11. Or sorry, 6, plus 10, 11. And this is plus 2. I think we I think we're stuck. I don't know if there's any thick lines I'm missing. Obviously the needle on Golos would be super hard. Golos for gardens, yeah. I mean I I I I do agree that we're probably doing something on that line. I might I might Golos for Besage you. I also want to play the they're gonna get a haywire might probably, so I feel like I just have to play the timeless lotus and sacrifice this to the uh haywire might. Notably, if my opponent, if my if I had drawn the <laughs> the uh, amulet I was going to off the before they're out, obviously just confirmation bias, but that would have been pretty nice. Yeah, I think we just get besage you. Gardens is also like. Pretty dang nice. Yeah, I guess Gardens is just going to give me enough mana to top deck, basically. You know, Escape to the Wilds, Cultivator Colossus. The kind of need. I can also top deck uh, Stirrings into Lotus, cast Emrakul. Weird game. Could have maybe got Saga instead. Two Saga tokens probably go a really long way this game. Where did they still have Shadow Spear in their deck post board? Wait, hold on! Dude, I told. Oh no, I totally thought Urza Saga was going off this turn. I'm like losing my mind. I thought I thought they were getting a Haywire Might this turn. It was supposed to be at 14. I kind of had 12. It's. Uh, it wasn't enough. Hunting every game. Consistent turn three win. I mean, this was a turn three win if there wasn't Pithing Needle. If you went that, or turn three, it's been Golos at least, which is usually usually go off. Uh, Timeless Lotus is uh, legendary, so you don't want to copy it. If they make a Saga token, they won't be able to Haywire Might. They equip Shadow Spear to Ragavan. I'm blocking. There's a Needle on on this. If they if I draw Besage, I'll feel kind of bad, but be fine. So we can draw Archroot, Charm, Colossus, Escape to the Wilds, Timeless Lotus, Stirrings to the Timeless Lotus. Um, Fall Legal and Modern. Uh, it should not be. I believe it's just Legacy Vintage. So I get Max Punish for blocking. Oh, I guess Ragavan would have cleared this. Besage you the saga. I guess they don't have any green man at the moment. I'll just I'll just play this. Second pithing needle. Maybe naming besage you this time. Also not making a construct off this saga. They guess to make it off this one. The name Timeless Lotus. Okay. Good news for me. Now I can just like not tap this for a little while and they won't know that. Uh, uh, uh. Seem like a harsh ban. I can ban whoever I want whenever I want. With peace and love. They can appeal the ban if they want. been on kind of a no nonsense policy lately. Who had you escape to the wilds? Sick. I 
it's like the the vast majority of people can behave and don't leave like weird passive aggressive comments you know I, I it's just maybe it's just banter a lot of the time but if 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 you're just bantering and you get banned you know improve your banter game i, I don't know what to tell you escape again the needle must be bugged I am tapping the lotus here when I graze your turf emerald uh, I want to cast cultivator Colossus too uh, I'm you know I, I, I I'm gonna cast emerald Obviously, I'm going to cast Emrakul this 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 uh, turn. Maybe maybe I'll just cast Emrakul and see if they want to concede to that a little bit sooner. But I, I'm also I'm also going to try to cultivate a Colossus and just get a little bit of a bigger board so I have lethal. How about Doppel gain in the charm spot in this deck. I, I I'll, I'll say this, chatters. If you are seeing me playing with a brand new card, a brand new card, it's the title of the stream. It's uh, like it's it's you know it's it's something that's like very fresh and I haven't played with. Don't please don't suggest cutting cutting the the the, the premier card, the new card. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna cut it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I I'm, I'm here to play the new card. I don't even I don't I don't even know what card you're suggesting what card do doppelgang is but like I'm not I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to cut the brand new card from the deck that's like the whole reason I'm playing it And charm is sick in this deck also Doppelgang is also new like the day of or something because because like there's there's like a there's a period of time where deck lists are due but you still don't necessarily want to post your list because like people will look at like the top teams list and stuff and then they'll be like able to like metagame around them they'll be able to like make plans to combat your strategy if you you know play your cards or you know show off your what your plan is too soon hmm So let's play this Grazer so I'm not dead to Second Hammer. I think we'll play the Grazer. Should I ever, should I ever do anything else? I, no, I, I actually just like putting putting in the Second Gardens is also just a pretty good thing to do here. I should be able to cultivate a Colossus off Archdrude's Charm here pretty easy peasy. Do a little bit of exploring. Five amulets in play on turn three. Above average. Maybe I grab Golos instead so I don't have to worry about the headache of clicking through. <laughs> <laughs> so many. Phyllis is maybe also a bit more deterministic. Wait, can I just Emrakul? Should just be able to Emrakul, right? Well, oh, they also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three. 
Yeah, I can't actually cleanly attack into, into their board yet. Because they'll just have 11 11 on the backswing. Yeah, actually, with five amulets, it's like I, this is just like minimum three Golo spins. Oh, so, so silly. You have Grazer Chump? That's true. I, I, I agree that Immercools. I maybe should. On the stack. I guess, you know, we can brick. Although there's another Golos and then it's Escape to the Wild. It's just so hard to brick on so many looks. Just get a casual 25 mana here. Oh, I, there's also Archdruid's Charm I can use to cast Emrakul here. I could also use Archdruid's Charm to exile the Sentinel, so we have just a clean, easy. Board. I'll probably, I think I'm going to do that. Oh, this one costs mana. <laughs> All right, so sometimes you get a little mixed up, like what's what's escaped to the wild and what's ghost. Okay, I'm gonna bring in the Force of Vigors. Uh, let's go ahead and cut. I think three explorers in a map. Draw. Yeah, you you can be, at, at this point you can cast your entire deck with Golos. The, the deck is just built so like once you start spitting Golos, you like really never stop. I'm definitely keeping another likely turn three win. Oh, kind of cold to a spell pierce on the escapes of the wilds. Yeah, Beans was so sick in the stack. Oh boy. Oh, no longer weak to that spell pierce. So we need to draw force, grazer, uh they <laughs> <laughs> Good <laughs> charm, get rid of this. I'll I'll just play around them not having, you know, turn three kill. Turn three kills in hammer are not that common. Wait, they didn't even put one hammer into play, so they, they you have reprieve? They're repping reprieve, I feel. Maybe just turn three Immercool. But one, two, three. You know, turn one Saga Amulet, turn two Copy Amulet, use the Saga Mana for Amulet. Four Amulets, eight mana, yeah, it's, it's, it's just 15. Exactly 15 on turn three. Without, even, without any other cards. <laughs> yeah, I thought about main decking uh, the Norn. Uh, you could main deck the Norn, but I think, I think that because it is just so impactful against specifically like four color blue white amulet that it just is like kind of a quintessential example of what a sideboard card is. Angletron content slated for the future. I mean, it's on the table. Uh, I, I'd love to see the, what the newer list was. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen a new list for that deck in a while. Can you change anything about your miracles list? Um, not a lot. Been liking the deck. I would probably play it in the challenge this weekend, to be honest. If uh, I was streaming this weekend, I have a short, short stream tomorrow, and I'm flying to Chicago for the weekend back, back Monday. What do you think of combining Narset and Package into miracles list? Would be trying to do too much? Probably, yeah. I, I, like Narset's kind of has, isn't very good with Terminus. It isn't like particularly good with Counterbalance. I think there's there's like tension. <laughs> it is so rare that you have a, a case of too many amulets. 
But here I don't want to cast the amulet because what if they if they counter it I don't have my like exact fifteen mana. They force a negation or like stack a hex catcher. Maybe I miscounted. Not miscount. Not the hardest math. Eight plus <laughs> eight plus seven. No! Currently scolded, dude. Timeless Lotus, Golos? Okay, so I find Timeless Lotus. If I cast it, my opponent has to sack both of their creatures. I guess I I guess I don't do that. I guess I just play my fifth amulet and then win next turn probably. We lose to, or force force navigation gets us pretty bad, but like there's like almost no other card that matters. We gotta second and stop it. Yeah, but like, but then if they do that, which they probably will, like we could conceivably lose that game. But this game where we just pass a turn seems so hard to lose. Yeah, I mean, echoing truth would be uh, good. Yeah, subtlety not the best against Immercool. We could replay it because we did five from the time of Slotus and ten from our land for turn. Main deck stern scolding is so weird right now. It's just like the Rhinos metagame, you know what I mean? Sus concession. <laughs> Very sus concession. Pretty sure this is a defense grid matchup. I'm gonna go ahead and uh This member is mostly for Rakdos, being able to kill like uh Terminal Ragavan, Voidwalker, Magus is all really important. Um, Magus to the Moon in general, if I feel like it's ever likely that... Man. It is so hard to mulligan a hand with just two natural amulets. We don't have a land that taps for mana. Let's mulligan. Um, keep this, put back a... Besaju? Need to draw a Bounce Land. A Lotus. Kind of soft to... Uh... The spreading seas merfolk. We don't have. This isn't a real deck. This is. I wish tortured existence was legal and modern. Yeah, image three spoilers. I think there's some like the like preview season starts soon. I I'm, I actually don't think I'm going to get a preview card for MH3, which is going to hurt. <laughs> but I I haven't had a preview card in like a year and a half, and I don't know. I I, I they just fired so many people that any any fans I I maybe once had surely are long gone. I did not consult on MH3. No, I turned it down. I turned it down. <laughs> turned it on my map, getting pretty punished for that too. The next turn. Yeah, by image four. I think I didn't get one for image two either. Yeah, no, you don't get paid to do a preview card. So they can select their entire board to counter this if they want, or maybe they have something in their hand. Yeah, I, I'm just simply too controversial, I think. So you're not getting a follow-up preview? I'm not getting anything, dude. I, I, I think, uh, so I think what happened last time was they gave me, they gave me two preview cards from Devil Masters, they gave me Glimpse the Unthinkable and Thrumming Stone. I had, uh, Esther, well, I didn't have, uh, Esther made a PowerPoint for for this video that was awesome she did a great job um we showed it off on stream and then i posted that clip onto youtube also 
And, um, but I didn't tweet, I didn't tweet anything about it. And I, and I think what happened was whoever's in charge of the list just saw that, didn't see the Twitch stream and YouTube video. They just saw I didn't tweet about it. And I think they took me off the list. That's what I hypothesize happened with my whole preview card situation. Because they sacked two things there. Yeah, maybe Esther will get one. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, again, this is just my theory of what happened, but I don't I don't actually know if that's what happened. That's just that's just that's just my best guess why I stopped getting them. Besides of course being very common. I'm gonna save the Lotus Field land. So I have one land drop floating here. I guess I could just take the hand hider off now. Two land drops floating. There's an Emrakul. As soon as because your primary moto and they want to sell arena, yeah, that that might be it too. Um, that was that was kind of the case for the longest time that they didn't give any preview cards or they didn't give anything to any Magic Online people. But then they gave me they gave me Lion Sash, they gave me Thrumming Stone, they gave me Glen. Like maybe maybe it's time for a change, huh? Get a four one prediction going. Week. I, I I don't have interest in timeless Tuesdays, timeless Thursdays. I, I I really think that this is like a trap you can fall into as a magic content creator, as a content creator in general, to be like, all right, gamers, today we're playing timeless because it's timeless Tuesday, Among Us Mondays. Just just make the content, prep your stream off stream, prep your stream off stream, and then and then when you have when you have a brew, you have a deck, bring it to the stream. And it doesn't matter what the, the, the format can just be can change a lot, and that's fun that you can play different formats. But like forcing forcing yourself to play a format on a specific day, I think can lead to like your worst streams, and also like you know, it just I don't know, it just it just 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 play timeless if you have a timeless deck. Obviously, you know, obviously, like, you know, different things work for different people, but that's, that's at least kind of my philosophy. Can't be hated on Mog Monday. I mean, it just, it's just not something that works for me. I, l I like Mog Monday. <laughs> but for, for me, it, it's just not something I think can really, can really work. I guess I should be playing around with Seiji. They're on a mold of four, though. Did you play Alice to Dumb Miracles Blue White? I think Alice is really is better than Prismatic Ending. <laughs> but how does it compare? Math deck style.
Dude, we're playing a modern deck today. <laughs> oh wait. I'll just I'll just stack the saga ability to make mana last. It's it's way easier if I do that. Why is Lion such bad with Scooz is good? Scooz is also bad. Scooz, like, when was the last... Like, Yogboth occasionally plays a Scavenging Ooze. I remember for, like, the, the PT testing, like, I really I really didn't want to play an Ooze, and then everyone's like, Ooze is the best card in your deck, brother, in so many matchups. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> That's my uh, redo impression. Yeah, I, I, just, Ooze is just not, it's just not very good. Not the nice, probably good. I don't know. There's like a lot of incidental disenchants, but I, I, and and also like you have so the nice kind of stinks because you have to get a basic, and there's like so many good util, utility lands to be tapping. So there, there's certainly some some tension there. I would think. I guess it's like a little bit interesting if I cast my Emrakul. And then my opponent with violent outbursts. One thing that's interesting too is that I get to kill my cultivator colossus for a possible living end. So I think what I'll do here grab gardens, make another amulet. Do garden is just like the fact that Druid is all, Charm is also sometimes a tutor for Amulet is so 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 good in the deck. I'm just just trying to set up my best for a like rebuild next turn, which which will also be like you know my next. I'll, I'll get the next turn. Second Golos, I guess, and we'll just cast the cast the Emrakul. Could the surveil lands make change to the rocks better? Um, maybe. I cast an Emrakul on. Okay, I mean they were they were dead. I, I was gonna be able to. I was gonna cast the Emrakul again. They say they have saved us some time. Um, bring in these welding jars. Submit bud. I can see any clusters make sense. Yeah, yeah that, that's fine. I was just kind of surprised that they went through the, the motions of casting it and conceding, but. Go to five. Go to four. Good four. My four card hand is. Four cards? We lost to a mono blue Urza deck. <laughs> uh, we we did pump game three, kind of bad, but loss. Might as well. The one mana short of casting a Colossus next turn because Golos can be plus one mana. So I think I'm just gonna like try to race Blood Moon on the play. Blood Moon, uh, they probably have like one Blood Moon, maybe two Blood Moons, two. I don't think I, I'm not going to bring in Force of Vigor. We also have Besaju's. Actually, I have the map for Besaju though. We're just trying to be faster on the play here. Yeah, and I, th I think on on the draw maybe I would have like a Force of Vigor. We also have the Besaju still, of course, but I think we're just supposed to try to race. Um, 
is a little too this on the last one is probably better. They they're also mulliganing to six. They normally fetch basics if they don't blood moon. Uncommon, I guess. I play living in so much I didn't know I did this. Yeah, I I've occasionally seen like one blood moon in the sideboard. That's kind of I, I'd like it. Like, you know, one one thing that's really good about it is people have a very difficult time playing around it. Do you find an amulet? Of course. Very important. Who's favored? I think that we're favored game one and then they're favored in both in both post board games. Um which you, you usually favors the person who's favored in the post board games. Next door, one mana short of five. Draw a grazer, an amulet, uh or like any anyway. land. Following turn, I guess. Thing. Um I guess I'm gonna map for Gardens, which is super slow. Oh, one, of the, one of the worst draws we've had all day. Waker into another creature is pretty tough. They just slam a Cascade spell. Although, is it lethal? This is 8, 15. Yeah, they have exactly 20 power in play. Maybe I need to recount. 8, 10... Quick, tough stuff. Passing in the knife. So 3 to our first league, punt match one. Let's go ahead and play at least one more. 